You're probably thinking, well, the efficiency of my house is okay, but how often do you really think about the efficiency of your house? Sometimes. How about your workplace? How about a hotel that you stay at? Probably never, right? Well, tonight, we take you to Greensboro, North Carolina with our own Julie Martin for a look at the remarkable destination of the Proximity Hotel. Julie, what exactly is it about the Proximity that makes it so special? Well, you know, Mike, the Proximity is the first hotel in the U.S. to achieve LEED Platinum status. Now, that's the highest eco category to be handed out by the U.S. Green Building Council. Have to meet a number of criteria in a number of categories. But the interesting thing about it is you really don't see the many ways it's helping the environment just by stepping inside. Here we go. Vicki Goodbrand is spending the night in one of the greenest hotel rooms in the U.S. A few things that you notice right away are different. Um, fresh air piped into the room, also a window that opens a little bit. But most of the eco friendly magic here at the Proximity Hotel is happening behind the scenes. We heat all of our water in the uh, restaurant and our laundry and all of our guest rooms with uh, solar hot water. It's amazing, even today, these, these panels are generating a lot of hot water. Through solar energy and low flow fixtures, the proximity saves 2 million gallons or so of water a year, which shaves about 13 grand off of the water bill. Energy savings are in the triple digits. 97% of its space has natural lighting, which lessens the need for a light switch. Commercial hoods in the kitchen only turn on as needed. Its refrigeration is geothermal. And the hotel elevator is the only one in the U.S. to use the energy it creates on the ride down for the ride back up. All part of an equation that adds up to an energy savings of 39% a year. One of the things I say is it's not sustainable to go broke. You know, so we had to make good case, a good case for anything that we did, not just an academic case, but a practical, realistic case that, w that made sense from a business perspective. It's fundamentally um, an urban legend that it costs too much to uh, build new construction using sustainable practices as one of your benchmarks. It cost about $3 million more to build the proximity green, but Quaintance expects to see a payoff in just four years. And the proximity has been open about a year, Mike. Already seen a savings of about a hundred grand on their energy bill, and it's not over yet. You may notice I'm outside of a weather station back here now. They're using the data from this weather station to actually test their efficiency here at the hotel and revise things as needed. So they take the weather data right out here, pump it inside, see how they're doing.